Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, I've seen a lot lately on Facebook where people are wondering um, what sat navs, uh, some people would be looking for recommend recommendations of sat navs, what they would use when they're out camping. And now I know everyone is uh, have different opinions of sat navs. Some likes to use, some people like to use Google, some people like to use, you know, TomTom, Tom, you know, all different ones. Uh, but me, uh, personally, um, we use the Garmin Camper Satnav that's designed for camper vans. And there's other ones that are des designed for trucks and all that. And the reason why we use this Garmin Camper, does, this is the 770, there is newer versions that are out now. But the reason we use this one is because when we first started camping, we used to use Google Maps. We didn't really know anything about it. Uh, didn't know anything about it, that there was different maps. We never that we never knew there was different sat navs. We never knew there was a such a thing. But uh, when we first started camping, we used to use Google Maps, as I said, and the Google Maps would bring us down uh, underneath narrow bridges. Uh, we nearly got thank God we didn't go underneath the bridge. We we reversed to to get back out again. And, uh, you know, it brought us down wicked narrow roads, dirt track roads, and it took us longer to to get to places. Um, like we say, recently now, we went to to campsite up the country and another couple came with us and they had Google Maps and it brought them up through the mountains and it brought them, they, they, they saw loads of masts and all that. It brought them everywhere and anyway. And, uh, but with us, because we have the Garmin camper, you know, it's, 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 you know, brought us there, you know, without going underneath bridges and all that. Now, I know some people would say, oh, Google, you know, before you go and stuff like that, but sure, when you wouldn't be familiar with the place, you wouldn't be thinking the whole time to be Googling the roads and all that, uh, especially when you don't know when, where you are, especially when you're abroad and all that. Then another time, then we were at another campsite and there's a man that we met um, and uh, up the country again somewhere and he has the Garmin camper uh, sat nav but he didn't really know how to update it and all that and he was bringing it to a place and they were charging 30 euro to update it for him because he wasn't able to do it himself so today um please god um I, i'm just going to show because it might be might be some people out there that are not able to update it and then other people are you know but um yeah this is the sat nav anyway that that we have Ho hopefully now it'll come out for you um, it's the Garmin Camper uh, 770. Um, as I said, there is newer ones that are out. And uh, they're all different ones. People use all different ones. And, and they, they that's the ones they like, like, you know, but each to their own. But some people, you know, me, I'd just rather have the, you know, the camper ones. So I'm not brought underneath low bridges and hassle and stuff. Like I met another person and their, their camper van got destroyed. They tore the whole side of it because they were brought down you know, narrow places and all that and nearly underneath a bridge. But anyway, yeah, this is the sat nav and uh, you know, you can have apps to it. Me and Johnny's phone um, is connected to it. Uh, you just turn on the Bluetooth on your phone and turn on the Bluetooth here. Um, you know, the Bluetooth will be up there. That's where the Bluetooth will be. Uh, but I'll show you that now in a second. So um, yeah, now uh, we, you can ha connect it to all these, but we don't, we only have it connected to, to our phone. Um, it's not connecting at the moment because we don't have our phones here. So when people ring us, we won't be faffling around looking for our phone. We answer it here. But sure, most cars and all that have that nowadays anyway. Uh, you can get traffic updates on it as well. Um, you can connect it to a, a backup camera. We don't We don't have it connected to a backup camera. Um, you know, there's all different kind of smart links that you have to it. But as I said, we only have it connected to our phone. And... Uh, you know, these are all the different, different things. You can do a planner on it. You know, you can uh, save trips and you can start a new trip on it. You know, if you do get it, just play around with it. Sure, I even still don't know the ha half of what's on this. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's all the apps. And then here then is the volume. Obviously, you know, you put it up and down. Because, you know, there is loads of people now that don't know how to use these. And then the settings, this is where the man comes in now. Um, that man now that didn't know how to update his his um 
his sat -na his sat nav. You just go into settings. Uh, you must connect it any to the Wi Fi, but try you you you'll go down to wireless net networks, and you click your your Wi Fi. You know the net the networks, and uh, click which which one you want to connect to, and put in the password. If you don't do it, your children will do it. Um, because I was wicked when that man was charged thirty euro, but into settings and updates and all the updates you know you have to connect to the wi-fi I, i'm not connected i don't think i'm too far away from my house um and they'll all come up up here so it will uh when you need to be connected but when you need to update it um what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and connect to an internet and i'll show you what it looks like when unless i don't have any updates but i'll have a look um Back to you now in a second and I'll check and I'll try and connect to the internet. Okay, so when you want to update this sat nav, you just click on settings, updates, settings, because you want to look for what internet you want to connect to. And I'm going to connect to my internet now. And um, I got a new internet recently, so I have to put, it, put in the password again. So I'll be back to you in a minute and it, this will tell you how to update. Okay, I couldn't connect to my internet because I'm too far away from my house, but then you just click on that and it'll say the updates and you just click OK and it's easy as that. And then you can put in the, v the this is the vehicle, um, you know, the, the height, we exaggerated it now a bit and made, made our camper van higher so that we wouldn't be brought underneath bridges. But you can change all that, you know, it's wicked easy to change them all, you just click uh, each one that you want to change um, and come back out and then you can set your maps you know what way you, you want the map uh, to look and all that and like uh, the navigation you you know you can change everything to uh, you can avoid places as well um, and you know you can click to avoid places it's all different stuff on it you have to play with and then the wireless networks that's that's where where we connect to our phones and um, what else is on it driver assistance over in spain sorry over in france um speed alert to be automatically turned off on this we don't have to do anything just to be automatically turned off um what else is on it the wireless camera that's the display we never really kind of uses that and else um the units and time we never really kind of uses that either i don't think oh no we do yeah that's just does be automatic i think um yeah so that's all the settings on it i think language you know half the stuff we don't we don't go near um but then when we want to go to a place when we want to go to a place like we'll say for you know the um just go home, we press go home, but uh, as I said, the Garmin camper sat nav has, you know, campsites built in. They, they they come with campsites, they're just all there. You know, they'll all come up around the, around the location if you're in a place with all, all campsites. Um, the camper contact is on it. Um, we clicked on favorites as well. Uh, you, you can do a trip planner petrol stations but they're they automatically kind of come up as we drive along um but what i find easy or custom po pois we had have that as well but i don't, don't don't really use it i don't think yeah well yeah we do because it keeps change you know changing the whole time we never get to update it but that's um the, the custom pois you'd have to do that you have to connect it to the to the um laptop to do that but um you know some people use it some people don't but me um like when we go to places that we don't know of that were never there before we'll say let's just pretend now we're going to greg the manor today well we just click where to and i like to put in the coordinates that's what i that's the way i does it everywhere i go i put in the coordinates so for example you know, I go into my app. Where is it now? Let's say, for instance, now I'm going to go to Greg the Manor, and there's the the uh, coordinates in there. 
in it took me ages to to at first when I saw these coordinates I wasn't able to I couldn't figure out how to do it but a man showed me uh that that we met somewhere just like say for example we're going to go to Greg Namana you just click on the I hope now you can see this uh like N52 N52 I said no, it's not the best. 5388. 5388. And the spare numbers, that's what killed me before that I didn't know about. You just press 0, 0. And then next um, is W6. We'll say W. Your spare numbers again. 6. You know, most people are able to do this and others didn't, were not. Like we weren't able to. So that's why hopefully this might be helpful. And the rest then is 956, 956, 43, 43, and then you have a spare number, zero. Done. And then you press go. And it'll bring you straight down, straight down to Greg Namana. That's that's what we does. We get the co coordinates and put them all in, and away we go. Because uh, Greg Namana mightn't be built into the, to the camper vans the Please camper van little apps the Greg the Manor mightn't be there our new new airs that are after popping up mightn't be in the in the little apps uh, that show campsites uh, they mightn't be in these like you see Greg the Manor mightn't be in them or the new airs that are after popping up they won't be in them but it, they'll be on the you know the the Facebook pages maps and all that and the apps on, on the phones, they'll be all on that. So you just put in the coordinates and away you go. So that's the the thing now with our, our um that's the 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 um sat nav that we use, the Garmin Camper seven seventy. But as I said there is newer type apps that are out there as well. So, you know, and and then everyone uses their own different ones. But uh yeah, they're, they're, they're very si simple to use. You know, I didn't even play with half of this. But, uh, you know, it's I believe you can get, you know, uh, you have to subscribe to a thing. What's that? Um, yeah, half the things I didn't even play with. But, yeah, I wouldn't use my phone to go to go anywhere in a big camper van. I'd be afraid of my life. I'd be brought here and I'd be brought there. Uh, and I'd be brought underneath, underneath bridges and all that because it nearly did happen to me before. So it did. But yeah, that's all now about this. Don't think I'm forgetting that. Um, as I said, at least you can put in your your vehicle height. You know, if you, you can do it for a car, car get what you look, it's really for just motorhomes. Um, you can put in your height, your your length and, and your, your width. We exaggerated our one now a bit now because, you know, we're just, just to be on the safe side. Um, you know the maps, all different. Um, like we have it now. When we're out in France, we avoided uh, tolls. Um, what else is on it? Navigation, as I showed you there earlier on. Custom or oh, tolls and all that. Avoid, you know, avoid tolls by countries. Um. You know, half now I didn't even. Half them I didn't even play with, but yeah. It's a wicked easy map to use. Wicked easy. But yeah, that's all I said I'd show now today. Just what kind of a map that we use. Okay, so the Bluetooth then is there. And to connect to things, you just search for device. Um, and then Wi-Fi then, uh, you search for networks. And whatever network, where you, network you are, you just press on it and put in the password. Um... What else is on it? They're, they're, they're the updates, as I said. You know, you just press on it. I'm not connected to the internet now, so it won't connect. Um, you just click on, where is it now again? Because my eyesight now is bad now as well. <laughs> updates, and they'll all come up. So they will, uh, vehicle and map and navigation. But anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. Maybe it might not be now, I don't know. But that's this is what we use when we're when we're out camping. Garmin Camper Seven Seventy, and there is newer ones that are out there. And as well, you see up in the top there it shows it's Bluetooth. 
the Bluetooth has gone blue. That's turned on. And there's my phone. My phone is connected. So it is. Um, yeah, that's all. Like if I go in there, all my, everything is there. Um, and then you have the time up there. And it is the right time. It changes by itself. And uh, then it shows you the battery. Well, actually, it'll be connected into the camper van. It'll be connected in as you're driving anyway. So I don't know why I'm showing you that. But I have it connected into me, me uh, blue SE there. But yeah, that, that that's it now. What's there? Um, yeah, they're, they're all. But that's it, honey, with with uh, this video for today. Um, hopefully it was helpful, you know. May, you know, it might not be helpful to all, but hopefully it was helpful to some people. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And please like and share. Bye-bye for now.